Hello guys, uh, today I wanted to show you how to set up Selenium Grid on DigitalOcean using Docker. So with no further delay, let's start. The very first step that you have to do in this setup is to create a DigitalOcean referral link. Uh, so this is the referral link that I have given here. So you can create an account using this referral link. The good thing about uh, creating a account with this referral link is that you'll get uh, $10 free credit. All right. So now that uh, part is out of our way. Now let's uh, log into the account. And once you have logged in, you will be navigated to a page like this. So once you are here, let's create a droplet. So click on the create a droplet. And once you have clicked, you will be given two options provided with two options. One is distributions and the second is one click apps. Click on one click apps and select Docker. And I'm uh, just keeping all the other options as default. If you want, you can change those. And clicking on create. So a host will be created uh, with the default name that we have given here. And you can see that it created a 2 GB RAM with 40 GB of disk space. And this is the name, uh, this is the version of the Docker. That is 17.0.9. Sorry, 17.09.0, and we will verify once this uh, once this host has been created. We will um, SSH into this host and try to see whether the uh, Docker version matches to this uh, uh, version that is being shown here or not. Well, uh, so this the creation of this. Uh, droplet would take a little bit of time depending upon your internet speed and so this should be done in a few seconds so meanwhile that is been done let's open a terminal and we need to ssh into this so let's be ready with that so once this is done you will be receiving an email so let's log in So we'll be receiving an email with all the available options. So here we have that. So let's copy this. All right, and let me paste it over here. So we'll be SSH, uh, SSHing into this uh, IP. All right, so there we go. And let's say continue. And it will ask for a password. This is the password. So enter the password, you need to enter the password one more time here and then you need to enter a password that you can remember. So make sure that you don't forget this password. So there we are. Now if I say pwd, the present working directory is root. Okay, and as I said earlier, let's see what is the docker version. Oops, always do this. So this is the docker version 17.09. So as we can see here, 17.09.0. So, so the next thing is that we need to have a server in, in place. Okay, so for that, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use uh, the port 8080. And we are going to use a rancher. Uh, the good thing uh, why we are going to use rancher uh, is that there is another server called as Tutum, um, but I'll, yeah, so you can read this article. Um, did I mess up somewhere? Yeah, yeah, I think this, this is the article, right? So I'll place this article in the um, in the description of this video. I don't want to go further because I don't want to dilute uh, with so much of information. This is a very good, uh, Rancher is a very good orchestrated uh, um, software that will help you, you know, setting up things. Okay, so let me run this and it will download and then start extracting. Uh, it will set up uh, everything that is required for us. So once this is done and set up, um, we should be able to use a UI 
to interact with this ranch server so let it complete it's pretty slow shouldn't be that slow well anyhow let's uh, wait for ubuntu well so that is done all right so that is done and it will serve on this ip and on the host 8080 so here i have uh, opened chrome in incognito mode but if you try to open for the first time you might get an error like this the site can be reached because it is still setting up now it will take a little bit of time just hold on for a moment yeah just give it a bit of time and meanwhile yeah, let me close this yeah and meanwhile what we can do is that we can go to api we would require an api to be created okay so let's create an api for a rancher okay make sure that this option that is checked in or else you might it might not work the way it should you click on generate and it has generated you can just click on this and it will be copied but for now i'll keep that aside and let's come back to this and try it again all right so this time you see that it is loading so it will show that rancher yeah and i don't want to send any anonymous statistics because this is only for testing purpose and the first thing that you need to do is that uh, you need to click on manage environments of course this is not mandatory but yeah let's do this so i'll say selenium uh, grid okay i'll say selenium grid environment i'll select the uh, default cattle and click on create all right so it has it has been created and uh, you can see the status is active now let's uh, let's go back to uh, admin and very first thing that you need to create is you need to create a host so click on add host and this is the host on which uh, the rancher has been served so let's simply save it and this time it will ask what is uh, from where actually we want to add the drivers so we'll select uh, digital ocean because that is the driver that we want to add and click on copy so we have created this api access token earlier so click on next and let's give a name for the host so let's say selenium grid okay and i want to keep the quantity region i am not concerned image is ubuntu you have so many other images in size i'm absolutely fine with the default and i'm SSHing into uh, with root also absolutely fine i don't want to add any labels click on create and it will start creating this process might take um, a few minutes okay so it will take about uh, three to four minutes so let's meet uh, once it has created successfully provisioned and created uh, the host for us all right uh, so we can see that the selenium grid is uh, been created and currently all the health checks and uh, other checks are been uh, uh, done so once the health check is done and it's positive uh, we will go ahead and set up the selenium grid all right yeah so everything is done here and this is uh, this is the IP that we are going to use uh, to connect to the Selenium grid uh, as a Selenium host. Now, uh, for doing that, go to stacks and under user, create a stack. Okay, so we will call this as Selenium host or let's call it as Selenium grid itself. And uh, let's say this is Selenium grid stack. Okay, so this is just a stack name. So under this, we'll create uh, um, three services. Okay, so click on uh, once this stack is created, click on add service and let's name it as Selenium Hub. Okay, so you can say this is Selenium Hub. Okay, and here the image you have to select the image. Uh, so you have to say Selenium Hub. So how I am getting that? 
go to google.com and say selenium hub docker image okay click on the first link and here is what it will be using selenium slash hub the similar way we will be using for firefox and chrome so if you search for firefox and you see that node hyphen firefox and node hyphen chrome is what we will be using so the next op next option that we have to uh, select is port so what is the port so default port is 4444 that is what uh, um, the hub uses so let's create with others as default so now this is activating so let's wait till this is activated well this shouldn't be taking so much of time but sometimes yeah it uh, depends right so it has been activated so the next thing is that for us to create another service and this container we would call it as oops not selenium let's say firefox node okay and we will describe it as this is a firefox node and instead of hub we will say node hyphen firefox okay we are not concerned about the port here what we are concerned is that we need to attach to this hub okay typically that is what we do whenever we are running it from the command prompt also right so just give some random database name and the other options i'm just keeping as a default click on create they should also help you create a service so let's wait uh, till this is been activated all right so it is active now the next one that we need to create is uh, chrome node okay a node for chrome so we'll say this is a chrome node and instead of firefox we will just specify chrome node here and come to service link and you need to map this or attach this to the hub and we will use the same database name that we have given earlier as hub and keeping the other options as default click on create and this should uh, create and also be activated let's wait for a couple of minutes for this to be completed Well, let's copy. Okay. Um, yeah, for some reason, this is not getting created. Stop. And start again. Yeah, I have observed uh, this this thing uh, happening quite few times. let's not be concerned even if we have one node that should be fine for us if this doesn't work for this time as well meanwhile what we can do is that we can go to the hub and see whether everything is working fine or not okay so for that what we can do is go to host okay Okay, go to host, and that is where you will be seeing the host. Uh, okay, so this is the Selenium Grid host, and on this host, using the port four 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 four, and you see Grid Console. Now you should be seeing Console. You see that the Firefox is already attached. Okay. Um, right now i'm facing some issues with uh, chrome okay i think i think this cannot work anymore so let me delete this let me create a new service let me call it as chrome node this is a chrome node okay the image is chrome 
put file name hub hub and click on create so if this doesn't work for this time as well okay so yeah so this is activate an exception yeah i i faced this uh, in the past as well um, I, there is no other way just need to restart this rancher for some reason but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to keep this like this okay i'm just going to stop the service and uh, here you can see now that you have grid in place and you can connect uh, to this um, yeah you can connect to this uh, uh, firefox using this uh, ip and this port fine uh, so this is all for this video in the next uh, in the second part of uh, this series what i'm going to do is that i'm i'll i'll try to fix this and uh, we'll have uh, the other node also ready and uh, we will uh, will have three uh, instances of chrome and three instances of firefox ready and we'll try to run a sample selenium in parallel across all those nodes okay but for this video this is all thanks for watching